morning morning everybody michelle is here <laughs> michelle is here on 7 11 2024 and this is a thursday july 11th 2024 oh wow i thought i'd get on up this morning and talk to you for a moment about what's happening with me and um, everything is going fantastic magnificently and marvelous how about that <laughs> i look a little tired i can tell i can tell i'm tired Ugh, pick that up. i wanted to come on through because i have a busy day ahead but i want to say something more about the values and virtues and how important values and virtues are to the development of your consciousness to the evolution of your consciousness it is crucial but it's also free will you know it's free will to do what i what i ask you to do as well as what others are asking of all of us and there is um a lot going on in the world and that's the whole that's the whole game that we've all played we've caused ourselves to spin out of control on garbage and and, and irrelevancy and then we're wondering why we are where we are. We're wondering why we're having such a difficulty in reaching people. And uh, we, we're having so much difficulty in making decisions. That's the one thing I, I noticed that is just, uh, uh, it, that, that, that is unheard of, you know. And it's because of the layer of management, the layer of leadership, and just the layer of uh, influence, the layer of favoritism, nepotism, let's just bring it it all ties together if, it, if anyone wants to understand it it all ties together but you have to suspend your ego you know is suspend your uh so-called knowledge that you have and, and be teachable you know a person that is uh the, uh the most powerful person is someone that's teachable you know pay attention to what that means and that's literally figuratively and metaphorically we're all we all ought to um uh, strive for being taught, you know, and to understand people, you know, because I told you that's an act of love anyway. And a lot of people claim that they have so much love for, for patriotism, so much love for a country, but you rarely hear a lot of them say love for humanity. You rarely, I rarely hear that, you know, I rarely, and that's why I say politics, I don't care what anyone says, it's not about the American people. Okay, politics is a is a fee, a sphere of its own. It's its own little entity, and it's not little. But you know, when you compare it, you know, when you compare it to ten billion people on the planet, yes, that's rather small. That's a that's a very small uh, number of people, you know, with all this power and might, you know, which is uh, nothing more, nothing less than a fallacy, because at the end of the day, uh, they're gonna realize they own nothing. Okay, I know a lot of people talk about uh, having sacred moments, sacred space, and just keep in mind, you're not going to find that in materialism. Okay, and I think a lot of people are realizing that they're buried in their materialism and they have no idea, you know, you know what to do because they because they're so tied to that. That materialism that they are tied to is literally affixed to them. You know, that that's how they identify themselves. And that's the sadness. That's sadness in itself. To be identifying yourself with material, materialism, such as your toys, your property, your money, you know, and, and, and as well how you treat humanity. You know, some of you are involved in human trafficking. It may not, it may be something um, less, less known I told you about the words we use. We may we may call these people our associates. We may call these people our team. We may call these people our group. Okay, and it could be nothing more, nothing less than a cult. Okay, and forcing people to say things and forcing people to do things. That is what's going on. Okay, I told you there's a Ponzi scheme. You know, every minute, and 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 at the same time. These Ponzi schemes are going to what? Collapse. And a lot of people are going to be left vulnerable. 
Okay, so, you know, you know that saying, you know, standing in the middle of a million people with no clothes on, that kind of stuff, that kind of uh, metaphor, uh, which I think a lot of people just don't understand, did not understand metaphors, and they took them on literally instead of applying some logic and and you know and just applying the whole range whole range of thinking which involves your sensing and being logical reasonable rational but no but no so what i wanted to talk about on this um thursday is about um the continuing uh information about values and virtues and what I want to talk about today is about advocacy versus activism okay advocacy is the act of pleading and arguing in favor of something such as a cause idea policy active support okay that's what it says you know when you type it in type it in these computer I mean type it on your computers and look it up in these dictionaries um, advocacy I just wanted to see if it says anything a little bit more resonating to me um, because I consider I, I had considered myself as an advocate okay and then I that's why I say I have to be really careful with my words because sometimes you 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 label yourself. That's why I say you got to suspend these labelings. You label yourself something and realize, okay, is it is that is that actually true? I told you to. We need to. If we choose to, we have free will to to um, pay attention to what we consider our as our values and virtues, and make sure it does resonate with you, like loyalty number one and protecting of humanity you know so many people want to say that when they when they claim they're advocates or activism or they're involved in activism okay again advocacy it says is it an is an activity by individual or groups that aims to influence decisions with political economic and social institutions hmm it says advocacy includes activities and publications to influence public policy, laws, budget by using facts, their relationship, the media, messaging, messaging to educate government officials and the public. I don't know. You know, I, I don't necessarily like that definition to be honest with you all right let's go to activism activism is to use the use of direct often confrontational action such as demonstration strike in opposition or support of a cause okay and it also says here a policy of taking direct and militant action to achieve a political or social goal is that is that is that what it means to be an advocate I mean to be active uh, activist activism public demonstration strike opposition to an issue is that what we do is, is that what we're doing and it says here that it's so that it, they're they are you know creating this narrative that advocacy and activism are one are they um activism activism let me make sure i'm pronouncing that correct activism yep activism you know which is it says here consists of efforts to promote, impede, direct, intervene in social, political, economic, and environmental reform with the desire to make changes in society towards a perceived greater good. Okay, so you, can you see why 
that word is uh, expired. That's no longer relevant. That definition of activism. Think about it without your labeling. Suspend your ego and just think about this. And be, be, be gentle and kind with yourself as you're exploring these things. Because I know a lot of people are seeped into certain levels of, uh, of assisting with humanity. Assisting with human beings in, in, a, in, a, in an attempt to help. And, that, and that's, that's a beautiful thing. But again, I told you, your words are energy. So you need to think about, if you choose to, remember it's free will, the words that are coming out of your mouth and the sounds and tones attributed to that, especially when you think about activism or advocacy. I'm not happy with either of the definitions. That's my point. Okay? So... Because when you think about certain things that are happening today in our current realities, there's those tactics no longer work. They've expired. What else can we do to elevate our conversation about how we are going to be protecting, defending, loving humanity? Okay. Um, because anyone can use activism and claim, okay, that they are uh, doing something for a perceived greater good. All you have to do is think about, think about that, and, and, and tell me what's synonymous with someone claiming to be working towards a perceived greater good versus the results and the behavior and actions. It's not in alignment, is my point. So, again, trial, error, mistakes, failures, breakthroughs. That is usually a, a stage that you'll go through. Each time you go deep within and challenge what you are saying to yourself because that's, that's, the, that's the sad part 90% of us are saying a certain level, level of things in my opinion to ourselves we're directing it towards ourselves instead of making an exterior that may not even have anything to do with you as far as how you are actually developing yourself you just assume because you, you you know you just assume that what you're doing is this and that and the other and it may not be based on activism I, I'm pretty sure if I, I I don't support that okay efforts to promote impede direct intervene in social political economic environmental reform with the desire to make changes in society towards a perceived greater good. So if someone's delusional and hallucinating, do you know how much, how much they can warp that and, and become fanatical? Because that, that can happen. You can have uh, uh, fanatical uh, behaviors such as hunger strikes. I told you how dangerous it is to be marching in the street with the overpopulation and most people are not paying attention. And so the so pedestrian is usually hurt every time that happens, but it's not reported, of course. Okay, some people can, can say, they can hack into computers and say that that's activism. They can use all this stuff, you know, so, somewhat against the greater good. Okay, so terrorism, someone can argue terrorism as a form of activism, 
okay? Do your research. Ask yourself these tough questions about, okay, what am I saying to myself? Is this what I actually support? Okay, I'm gonna find a different wording for myself. I told you it's an individual thing. And, you know, I, I may share, it, it all depends. Um, but I'd rather share with people that are close and intimate with me and that also resonated with me, which can, can expand in the sphere. I mean, even though, you know, we are of like-mindedness, again, you remember, people get replaced. People come and go, just like likes, hello, that's just like followers, hello, they come and go, come and go. So anyone constantly focusing on building and building and building with people that not necessarily resonate with you, you're just going to get yourself in a lot of trouble. You're going to have troublemakers coming in. They're going to show up anyway, but, they, you know, but they're going to definitely target you if you're not discerning properly and making it clear and effective what you are seeking and what you want. And again, you're going to still get people coming in, interfering. That's just what we do. That's what we've been allowed to do. Just interfere and harass people, target people, especially during political seasons. I think there's more political terrorism than terrorism itself. And that's just my, my personal theories and opinion. I understand what that means. It don't mean a goddamn thing. How about that? Advocacy. You know, I mean, it's not as, not as um, irrelevant or expired as activism. Um, you know, I, uh, an advocate, you know. You know, a lobbyist. Did you know a lobbyist is a form of advocacy? Think about it. So, I'm going to stick with um, that I support. Let's see what support means. To bear the weight of, especially from below, keep from falling, sinking, and slipping. Okay, that's, you know, that's, that's one thing. All right, let's go to, see, see like I said, these, some of these meanings are meaningless. They're too literal. And, you know, and so and it's all taken over. Support doesn't mean support anymore. Okay, support. Let's see what it says here. So again, we are all going to make mistakes. I that was a mistake that I made when I when I said I advocate or that I'm an activist. The activists. Those those titles had meaning back in the say the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s with those revolutionaries back then. There were a lot of women that were revolutionized that have revolutionized our cultures, our communities. Let's see. Uphold, I like that. You know, to uphold uh, protection of humanity, okay? Um, to give confidence and, and, and comfort, I like that as well. To aid, yes. To have, an, to have an enthusiastic interest, I like that too. But they, they contributed to sports. But that could be, you could, so in other words, with me wanting to help humanity, I'm enthusiastic about that. That's joyful for me. And I would do it for free, but I know that's illogical and not reasonable. You understand that? All of us, we need to champion. I like that. Uphold. So I just wanted to come on through this morning and talk about, you know, how I'm constantly developing myself and learning things about myself and questioning, okay, you know, what am I thinking about? And questioning what I label myself as. 
okay? Um, human being is the primary thing that I am and that I, we, and us, we're human beings, but we're acting in, inhumanely towards each other. And I hope to help in that way and guide in that way as well, along with others. But it starts with understanding who you are. What are you fighting for? Okay, what are you um, enthusiastic about when it comes to humanity? Are you enthusiastic about it or is it a burden to you? Is your work a burden? Do you still enjoy what you do? You know, some of you have been doing certain things for 20 years plus, okay? I was in a, a line of work, first responder, for over 20 years, and that, I had enough of it. So I decided to, you know, do do something else, because you never really retire. You just look, you go from one job to another. You know, these words are obsolete. Okay? To give strength to, to maintain, to give aid or courage as support. So I think I like that more so than saying that I advocate, I support. I support women. I support black women. I support lesbians. I support uh, bisexual, you know, and heterosexual too, women, because I can relate my relatability, my experiences, my life experiences. So please, if you choose to, uh, uh, question your values and virtues and, and list what they are and look it up and make sure that whatever you are labeling yourself, it supports your, you know, your mission, your, um, your goals, your um, assignment, whatever everybody's saying, because it, it, things do change. And again, you want to make sure you are clear and effective about it so that when you, you know, partner up with someone, group up with someone, blah, 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 whatever, that, that it's, it can be easily cohesive. Because we're not all the same. That would be boring. But we all want to act the same. We're doing the same things. We're doing the same things to run a business. And a lot of people will say, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it or something to that effect. And or, you know, you know, in, t in the spin cycle, you know what I mean? That what is it? W wash and rinse. You know, I mean, again, just ask yourself, are you happy? with what you are doing and does it resonate with you in your mission and your or is it just to pay your bills Be, that's what happened with my last job it was only a means to an end it was i had that job for as long as i did because it paid my bills i was always i was miserable for a long time okay but i had to pay my bills and and it, and it provided um adequate income for me to do so okay so like every, like I said all these words have been uh, commercialized and they mean something completely different so please reevaluate your values and virtues and make sure that you are in alignment with what you uh, what you say to yourself what you say to yourself 90% of the time and no one has to know okay Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Be, um, be, um, have this level of force about you that is not a force of, uh, of, uh, harm. It's a force of, of, uh, taking yourself to areas that may be uncomfortable for you, but you understand that there's, an end goal. You know that there's an end to this at some point. Okay? Take yourself there. You know, hook up with people. Match yourself up with people that allow you to have this give and take kind of exchange with them. 
because that's how you learn anyway through those kind of exchanging of you know discussion and conversation not necessarily because when you start debating and arguing you know you get you get you get constricted okay when you're just having discussions you're open you're light you're having fun you're not taking yourself so seriously you know you know even though we're in a serious um, catastrophic events to occur create moments okay create moments because I know a lot of you are dealing with challenging things in your life whether it's health related financially related interpersonal relationships blah 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 you know it goes on and on and on and it will continue to go on and on and on okay get with somebody that's going to stretch that you know and but you feel comfortable doing so with that person you know that that's going to be pulling things out of you and pulling things out of me and then we're going i mean because let me just make something also clear about when you evolve your consciousness what that means that don't mean a goddamn thing how about that okay evolving your consciousness don't mean a goddamn thing because you can't fool your consciousness so think about that so if you choose not to uh, participate in the developing and the evolution of your consciousness, which is an innermost activity, no one will know, and no one has to know, and no one gives a fuck about that, and we all know that, we keep saying that, we don't give a fuck about nothing, I don't give a fuck about this, I don't give a fuck about that, okay, so, because someone says that I want to help to evolve your consciousness, that don't mean a goddamn thing, really. If you don't put in the work. And I won't know that you are. I may see it in your results though. But I may not. Some of you are so clever in hiding stuff. So clever in keeping secrets. So clever in being deceptive. deceptive, Manipulative. You know I don't know what. You know I don't know what I see in front of me. When I'm having a conversation with a person. To whether or not they're telling me the truth or not. I know what my, I know what my intentions are. I know what my purposes are. Okay, and I made that very clear. Okay, so again, sit down, suspend your ego, and figure out what the hell is going on inside of you and make sure it is in alignment with your goals, your mission, your purpose. Okay, let me go. It's getting very warm in here with all these lights on. Well, let me send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. At the end of the day, during these final hours, it's about universal love. Share it.